Don't be jealous, but I have been invited to an exclusive costume party at Bold Biceps House. Oh, good. Yeah! It's gonna be awesome. Be nervous? Well, I'll go together, Fluttershy. It's not that. It's just the party's in a few days, and I have no idea what I'd wear. Oh, don't you worry about that. I got just the thing. I'd be more than willing to help you throw together a dazzling ensemble. I'm thinking something real spooky. Hmm. Who should I ask for help with my costume? Okay, let's get started. Aha! Here it is! Excellent. Not too scary. Not scary enough. Can't picture you as a bat. Now this I can work with. Hey, Sunset! Nice costume! Come on in! If you think this is good, wait till you see... Ah! Monster! Robin! I told you this was a great costume. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fluttershy! I can't wait to make you something truly breathtaking. <laughs> now hold still for the next several days. Oh, <gasps> Rabbity, darling, you've outdone yourself. We're ready. I said darling, didn't I? Oh. <gasps> I look like a princess. Mm, indeed. Now, we still have to find something for you to wear. Huh? You made this for yourself? Oh, don't worry. You can wear one of my... What is this old things? Why are they called that? They're beautiful. What? This old thing? I'm thrilled you're willing to do this with me, Fluttershy. <laughs> I tried to use this costume ages ago with Sunset Shimmer, but she just wasn't into it. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Here, what you think? Ain't she a beaut? Uh, Where are those two? I hope Fluttershy didn't get cold feet. The only thing these feet are doing is getting ready to cut a rug. <gasps> oh, Fluttershy! I'm sorry she's putting you through this. Actually, Rarity, it's nice. It's easier to relax when no one can see me. <laughs> What'd I tell you? Ah! A good friend always has your back. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's perfect for mauve fringe. Oh, well, mauve fringe isn't going on till five. Oh no 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 no! I am referring to my star swirl look. <laughs> ah, a cool breeze, the ideal accessory for fringe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's happening? That's strange. The next total umbral solar eclipse isn't for another three hundred thousand days. And that's obviously not what we're talking about. <laughs> Rain! But, 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 this is suede! If it gets wet, it's ruined! By extension, the whole festival! Not to mention the rest of my life when I have to recall this devastating turn of the weather! Oh, why, why, why? Why did it have to 
<laughs> well, you see, when high pressure air meets. Help me! I got an idea. Oh, me too. Gotta see. If it's raining cats and dogs, get yourself some fishing hogs. Yes, that's quite whimsical, but perhaps I'm missing some poetic nuance that explains why we are mucking about in the mud puddle. It means you gotta look for the silver lining. Like how mud's perfect for finding <laughs> fishing bait. <laughs> mud's also great for camouflage when you need to sneak up on a pig real quiet like. Why ever would one need to sneak up on a pig. If you have to ask, you don't want to know. And I'm only talking about mud on your hands, arms, neck, and face. Oh, this mud mask is excellent for the poor. Thanks, Applejack. Huh? Guess there's a silver lining for everyone. You sure you don't want to go worming? Entirely. You know, this doesn't really fix her problem. But she looks so happy. For the last three weeks, I've been brainstorming equipment to engineer in the statistically probable case of inclement weather, including but not limited to a raincoat with a water collection system, a self-drying umbrella, and detachable windshield wipers for eyeglasses. Fabulous. Which ones did you make? None. I only brought garbage bags to help clean up. Do you not care about helping me? Wait, Highlight. Trash bags! You are a genius! I am? A genius. Plus, look, main ponchos with fringe. Nothing yet, darling. Thank goodness you picked up. My clothes are drenched. My mascara is running, and look at my jacket. Forget your jacket. Look at your hair. <gasps> I love it. You, you do. I mean. Of course you hashtag rain hair don't care. It appears working for me had a lasting effect on your taste. Trend setter. Rain hair don't care is a trend. I mean, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Hello? Hmm. Hey, I hope this works. Oh, darlings, consider this a good lesson learned. I have truly grown as a person, embracing this catastrophe to discover an inner truth, namely the... Must find hair dryer! Ah, summer. You know, there's nothing like kicking back and enjoying the complete disaster! Are you okay, Rarity? My earring's gone! A one-of-a-kind, irreplaceable work of art! I should know, I made it. I was reapplying my SPF when I realized my ear was... <laughs> naked! I don't know what to do! It meant so much to me, and... and... If you want our help, just ask. Oh, would you mind? I took the liberty of getting some equipment. Any luck? Not so... Wait, I got something! Could it be? Close, but not quite. Hold your horses. Now I'm beeping. Now that is definitely a... <gasps> False alarm. Oh. Well, not to worry. We've got plenty of time. I can't believe this! We've combed the entire beach and found nothing! Nothing! I'm sorry I've wasted your entire day. Are you kidding? We haven't even done half the beach. 
Who knows what else we'll find? What even is this? The sand is full of mysteries. But the sun's going down. I guess it's a lost cause. <sighs> oh, hold that thought. And this. Service. Uh, that's not it, is it? It's not. But thank you, both of you. I had a wonderful day, just the same. I'll just take one last sweep. Uh. Ooh, found it. <laughs> Cloudy mornings will clear up in a flash. Giving us clear skies all week to jam out to this tune. And that's your weather in a flash. Thank you, Flash. Now for this week's most essential forecast, Trends. Featuring me, Rarity, your on-trend friend. As always, I look to Prim Hemline's style guide for inspiration. <sighs> Which I have memorized, so, uh, the latest trend simply has to be... Don't panic, Rarity. He once made a skirt out of snap bracelets. You can find inspiration anywhere. Messy rarity. Oh, this place needed a little color, don't you think? If Principal Celestia sees this, we'll be in trouble. Let's get to cleaning. Party's over, Pinkie Pie. A party? I was busy spreading the joy of confetti to the whole entire school! We know! Great job cleaning up, girls. Pinkie Pie, lay off the confetti, okay? Okay. <sighs> this afternoon's trend forecast... Detention. <laughs> The latest trend has to be rainbows! Sherbet, sprinkles, or rainbow hair, it's all in! Well, duh! Oh, so glad I found you, Rainbow Dash. I am tailoring a particularly tricky pinafore. <laughs> and I was wondering... The great and powerful... Oh, thank you. Uh, but, uh, but I'm late for b being over there. Oh, I just had the most embarrassing mix-up. I thought I was talking to you. Debra, no, 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 I can't, can't be. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Submitted for your approval. A portrait of a school. Taken over by a trend. Namely, a hairstyle. Rainbow in nature. The calling card of one Roy G. Biv. <laughs> so if you choose to enroll in this class-wide craze, hurry up and catch the bus headed for the Rainbow Zone. <laughs> oh, hey, Rarity. I don't know what it is, but everyone looks awesome today. The latest trend... Smart is chic. What? Twilight, the great and powerful and smart Trixie has a question for you and you alone. How do I get 
went to that cool place filled with those little bound stacks of paper? Books? Do you mean the library? The library! Down the hallway to the right. Library, here we come! Twilight, which word is cooler? Boronic or automatopoeia? Well, they're both kind of bombastic. Bombastic? Oh, I love that! It's like da bomb plus fantastic! No, bombastic means overly florid in an attempt to sound impressive. Wow, bombastic much? Ooh, you just got incinerated! <laughs> What's gotten into everyone? Science! 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 There's a month-long wait list to check out the sequel to the book I just finished. Everything you ever wanted to know about arthropods? Not everything, obviously. Why is everyone suddenly into all the stuff I'm into? And taking my books? I may have taken the teeniest, tiniest little bit of inspiration from, well, you. I'm sorry, Twilight. Oh, that's okay, Rarity. I'm flattered. Besides, trends come and go, but friendship is always in fashion. Ooh. And not to worry, dramatic capes are about to pop! Science! Capes? Capes! Oh! I got to come up with my very own chemical formula. Jalapeno Supernova Cupcake Frosting! That wasn't the assignment. Aw, you sound just like my lab partners. Couldn't have done it without you guys! I just got the weirdest text from Timber Spruce. Pirate, plane, alligator, thumbs up, waterfall, golf club, ice cream sundae. What does it mean? Is it an inside joke? A hieroglyphic reference? A secret code? Ugh, my brain feels weird. I'm not used to not knowing things. Hmm, sounds like you could use a translator. Uh, I could help. Leave this one to me. Who can get me out of this textastrophe? As you are no doubt keenly aware, I am fluent in all the latest text slang. Phone lingo, <laughs> if I may. Oh, so you're just gonna... No, no, darling. Thank you so much. But what did I just say? Oh, he replied. Robot shooting star trophy? <laughs> He's a witchy one. He won a space robot contest. Fancy dress anvil high five napkin. Anvil? I don't know if... Shh, darling, darling. <laughs> Do you like ice cream? Who doesn't like ice cream? Check mark, check mark. Couple holding hands, sunshine, three balloons, spoon. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what just happened? Oh, well, I started by sending a dragon, because you're powerful, ice cube and snail, because you're cool, but take it slow, and then pyramid, well, for obvious reasons. And he was way into it, so in this last one, I was just double-checking. You and Timber Spruce have a date on Sunday at three o'clock to have ice cream. Thumbs up, smiley face. You're welcome. So, what are you thinking, Fluttershy? I'd start with a bird. Sounds good. Then, iguana, guinea pig, regular pig, frog, baby chicken the egg, baby chick out of the egg, all three see no evil monkeys, cat, 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 all the cats, and um... Finish it with a squirrel on his hind legs. Sounds good. Scent, that was perfect. So what did we just send? 
a bunch of cute animal emojis. <laughs> but what does it mean? <gasps> he says yes to the zoo! The zoo? Oh, the zoo! Thank you, Fluttershy! No matter what the problem is, adorable animals are always the answer. Timber Spruce wants to dress up like pirates and fly through waterfalls with an alligator while we eat ice cream with golf clubs for spoons? That's crazy! Golf clubs would make terrible spoons. Have you thought about maybe asking him what he means? Ooh, great idea. How would I ask that in emojis? Ugh. Calling? No calling! Who talks on the phone? <laughs> Sunset, wah! Hey, Timber Spruce. Sunset Shimmer here. Mm. Mm-hmm. That text you sent, Twilight Sparkle. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's what you meant. That's what Twilight thought, but we weren't sure. Thanks. You just boy talked. Mouse words. Phone. He's wondering if you're free to play pirate alligator mini golf this weekend. Oh, duh, of course. How do I say yes? Oh, yes. What do you mean you failed? Uh, Mr. Cranky Doodle said I didn't have enough experience to pass the driving test. I have a retest on Monday, but it's my last chance, and he wants me to practice with someone more experienced. Oh, pff, darling, is that all? I can take you any time you like. Don't fret your fritters. I can borrow Granny's truck. We could use my car. Well, I guess I'll go with... for the day. If you're going to study driving, you must do it in style. I call it stretch chic. Now, just a few things that you absolutely must know. Always have both sparkling and still water. You never know which one your passengers will prefer. Never play the music too loud or too soft. It has to be just enough that their heads bob, but not so much that they cover their ears. And finally, Always have your lights on the ready in case of an impromptu party breaking out. <laughs> your headlights? Rarity, I'm not going to prom. I'm just trying to pass my driving test. Darling, can we do both? Just a little bit. Oh, no, an inch to the left. Now, oh, careful! The shoulder. What's the shoulder? <gasps> Driving can be stressful, darling. Not bad, Sunset. You completed the left turn, the right turn, the U-turn, and the K-turn. But now comes the part where everyone fails. Parallel parking. Don't expect to... Done. Where on earth did you learn to do that? Mm, I just had to stretch my talents. I don't get it. Mm. Thanks for helping me out, Applejack. Think nothing of it. I've been looking for a reason to take a spin in the old jalopy. Who are you calling a jalopy? <coughs> See? Like she's fresh off the lot. Whew. I can't believe she's still in such good condition. Uh, she's something, all right. You girls ready for the ride of your lives? Now, the first thing you ought to know is... To fail? For anything! 
thing. All right, Sunset. Use that wrench to loosen the bolts, and we'll get this tie replaced in two shakes of an apple tree. <laughs> and what if I don't have you and Granny Smith around? Well... Oh, this is unfortunate. Of course, I know how to change a tire, but uh, I wouldn't want you waiting around, so I guess uh, you fail. Is that fair? Hmm? Not to worry. I know exactly what we need. You do? An apple, Jack. <laughs> Sweet ride, Fluttershy. In you go, Miss Kitty. All right, I'm ready to clock some miles on this bad boy. Let's do this. It's the driving safety run. Start your trip with seatbelt time. Nine and three is where you'll be. Adjust your mirror to see things clearer. Check your little engine light to make sure that the trip's all right. The coolest drivers will admire. All right. Properly inflated tires. So, what are we learning first? Turns, switching lanes, parking? Oh, funny you should ask. I actually have a rhyme for that, too. Now, Sunset, I know all this safety business might seem boring to you. And it is. But it's also uh, important. Tell me, what do you do even before you start the car? Turn up the radio. Oh, not that. It's the driving safety rhyme. Start your trip with seatbelt time. Nine and three is where you'll be. Adjust your mirror to see things clear. Very nice. If your driving's as good as your rhyming's, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Ins. I had some help from the best. Now it's time to pass this test. Just start the car. Everything okay, Fluttershy? I don't think so. I hear crying. <laughs> From a bunch of baby sea turtles. They just hatched and are trying to find their way to the water. But they're lost. Oh no! Oh, how could I ever find a bunch of teeny tiny turtles on this great big beach? Tank here is a tortoise. Maybe he could help us? Hmm, that's not exactly the same, but it's worth a try. Lead the way, Tank! to help them get to the water safely. Just over this sand dune, past those rocks and crabs, beyond that abandoned sandcastle city, and around that dangerous shipwreck. Oh, boy. Don't worry. We'll just carry them to safety. We can't. They have to make the journey on their own so they can imprint and return to this beach when they lay their own eggs someday. Well, then, the least we can do is help clear a path for them. Baby turtles, be free! Um, adorable tiny turtles? Tank? Fluttershy, look! The trail in the sand! Tank? Tank led the babies! Aww! <laughs> well done, Tank! <laughs> oh, they think Tank's their mommy. <laughs> Aww. 